Hey, it's Kelly Dix. I wanted to take a minute and just talk about multiple offers. And just to let you know, there are no rules about multiple offers. A seller doesn't have to ask for multiple offers. They don't have to ask for highest and best. They don't even have to take the highest offer. It could be just the best offer. So your offer could come in, it could be the highest price, but the terms might not be exactly what the seller wants. And they're gonna take the offer that gives them the best uh, opportunity to move ahead. Also too, just because they do say highest and best, and like there's a deadline tonight, probably at six o'clock, highest and best offers are due at six o'clock tonight. That doesn't mean that the seller can't just take an offer at five o'clock and say, forget it, I'm not taking any more offers, I'm not showing the house anymore. Um, you just never know what's gonna happen. So if there is a highest and best situation, or even a potential of that, I would just assume that it's highest and best, get your best offer in, and get it in right away. Um, I was in an offer, highest and best offer situation with a buyer client, and we had a deadline, you know, at a certain time. And by the time I got our offer in, uh, the agent notified everybody and said, um, never mind, no highest and best, the seller just took another offer. So just a reminder, there are no rules. You just have to be the best offer in and get it in right away. Don't wait till the last minute and try and uh, out school anybody else because you might be missing the boat. So there's my tip for the day. There are no rules for the highest and best offer situation or multiple offers. Have a good day.